Welcome back to another exciting episode of Parking Well. In today's episode we are going to talk about Hotel Taj Mahal Palace Mumbai. The Tata founder contributed much to the development of India's commercial capital, from setting up key industrial ventures in the city, to supporting forums that nourished intellectual debate. Perhaps the grandest and most recognized of Jamshedji Tata's tributes, to his beloved city of Mumbai remains the Taj Mahal Hotel. Standing tall and proud, overlooking the majestic gateway of India, the hotel set up by the founder of the Tata Group, has been more than just a witness to the life and times of this bustling city, for some 110 years, its own existence often intertwined with the story and transformation of the metropolis itself. The iconic sea-facing landmark of Mumbai city, the Taj Mahal Palace is India's first harbour landmark. Here are the top 10 lesser-known facts about Taj Mahal Palace Hotel. Number 1. The Taj wasn't built if spot is popularized. One of the popular myths is that Jamshedji Tata built the Taj Mahal Palace because he was denied entry to the all-white-only hotel in Mumbai. But according to historian Sharda Dwadi, this Taj was built at the time of a huge plague epidemic in 1986, Tata set up the hotel purely for the love of the city and nothing else. As well others say that, he built it when the then-editor, of the Times of India urged him to build a hotel, that captures the essence of Mumbai. The hotel first opened its doors to guests on December 16, 1903. Number 2. The Taj Mahal Palace was designed by an Indian. Most historical accounts credit the well-known English architect W. A. Chambers for designing the Taj. But according to original booklet of architectural plans, that was published by Jamshji Tata, Rao Sahib Sita Ram, Kanda Rao Vaitha and D.N. Mirza drew the original plans for the building, but it was completed by W. A. Chambers, an English engineer, after Vaitha passed away. Chambers increased the size of the central dome, but that was his only design contribution. Khan Sahib Sarabji, Ratanji contractor, built the hotel, and was also responsible for designing the famous central floating staircase. Number 3. The hotel wasn't built backwards. There has been a rumor that hotel was constructed backside front, that the architect approved the layout without noting the direction of the structure, when he found out his error he jumped to his death from the fifth floor. But in reality, the Taj was built facing the harbor because Jamshji Tata wanted the rooms to face the sea, a practice that was unheard of in India at that time. This is perhaps why people believe that the Taj Mahal Palace Hotel was accidentally built backwards. Some stories suggest that the architect committed suicide when he realized the mistake. Number 4. It's always been a bit expensive. The Taj Mahal Palace Hotel has 560 rooms and 44 suites, and 1,500 staff members, including 35 butlers. In 1903, when it first opened to guests, charged its first 17 guests 10 rupees for single rooms and 13 for rooms with attached bathrooms and fans. This may sound super cheap right now, but, in 1903, people could buy full meals for a few annas, one anna equals to 1 16th of a rupee. Even today the lowest price would be more than 23,000 rupees for a room. Number 5. Dharupai Ambani's Early Days Legendary billionaire Dharupai Ambani, the former petrol pump attendant during his evening walks, would often go to the Taj Hotel for a cup of coffee. In those days, a cup of coffee in the Taj would cost 65 bucks, a luxury which only the rich and famous could afford. Whilst his colleagues preferred drinking coffee at the roadside stalls for 5 bucks and save money. His motive behind spending extra 60 bucks at Taj was that it gave him an opportunity to connect with the city's most influential people. Also it wasn't all about the coffee. It was about acquainting himself and developing relationships with people who really count. Number 6. Luxurious Features from Early Times It brought a lot of firsts to the Indian luxury hotel scenario. It was the first Indian hotel that had electricity, American fans, 
Turkish baths, German elevators, and English butlers. Later, it became the first ever hotel in the city that had a licensed bar and India's first discotheque, called Blow Up. It was also the first Indian hotel to have an air-conditioned ballroom and an all-day dining restaurant. Number 7. The hotel predates the Gateway of India. Unknown to most, established in 1903 by Jamshji Tata, the Taj Mahal Palace has an illustrious history that interestingly predates the construction of the Gateway of India. Finding itself at the crossroads of Indian history, Lord Mountbatten announced India's independence from the steps of the Taj Mahal Palace. Yes the Taj Mahal Palace Hotel was built 21 years before the Gateway of India was built in 1924, by the Viceroy, the Earl of Reading. The Taj Mahal Tower is an additional wing of the hotel that was built in 1972 in a completely different architectural style. Number 8. The dome was the first clear marker of the Bombay Harbour. The distinctive red-tiled Florentine Gothic dome, which crowns the elegant Indo-Saracenic arches and architraves of the hotel, sits 240 feet above street level, and for more than 50 years since it was built, it was the only marker of the Bombay Harbour. The hotel's architects model this closely, on the dome of the Chhatrapati Shivaji Terminal, when the hotel opened on December 16, 1903. It is still a triangulation point for Indian Navy ships to fix their position in the harbour. Number 9. Some very famous people have walked the halls of this heritage hotel. Apparently, Sarojini Nayadu had a permanent suite in the hotel in the 1920s and 30s. Mahatma Gandhi had addressed a group of young English men in the ballroom of the hotel. Lord Mountbatten also delivered a speech here. A few other notable figures who have stayed in this hotel are Muhammad Ali Jinnah, jazz legend Mickey Coria, Hillary Clinton, and the ex-US President Barack Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama. Number 10. Taj was under terrorist attack in 2008. Taj Mahal Palace Hotel was specifically chosen by Lashkari Tepa for an attack, so that it will be striking a blow against a symbol of Indian wealth and progress. The hotel was attacked on November 26, 2008, during which material damage occurred, including the destruction of the hotel's roof in the hours following. Hostages were taken during the attacks, and at least 167 people were killed, including many foreigners. The casualties were mostly Indian citizens, although Westerners carrying foreign passports were singled out. Indian commandos killed the gunmen barricaded in the hotel, to end the three-day battle on November 29. At least 31 died at the Taj. Approximately 450 people were staying in the Taj Mahal Palace and Hotel at the time of the seizure. The attack was planned using information compiled by David Headley, a Pakistani-American, who had stayed at the hotel multiple times. So what do you think of this heritage of India? Would you like to stay in Taj Hotel and if you have ever been there, how was your experience? Let us know in the comment section, watch our other videos and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Here is the bonus fact for you, hotel was turned into a hospital during World War I. The First World War went on from 1914 to 1918. During this period, the hotel was converted into a hospital. There were 600 beds to treat the injured, 